Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace citation to the archive I'm doing his work and truth and sincerity. And not a downfall of this wicked kingdom, okay, which you know is America, but in the scriptures is, is uh, Babylon the Great, okay, and, and we come out here to, to edify brothers, you know what I'm saying, and, and to cast this place down, man, you know. And uh, who's going on? This is Isaiah chapter 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Right, that's that's what this devil is doing, man. All right, writing a whole bunch of uh, uh, unrighteous decrees, man. Okay, and, and, and just just you know what I'm saying, putting putting a, put a, a, a constant pressure on you people, man. Okay, especially on you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, because by by him putting down all these rules and all these this uh legislation down, okay, all that is to do is to, to keep you in a, in a submissive state, man. You know. Keep you keep you following after this this damn devil, man. Right. Okay. Put your mask on. Right. All right. Stand six feet apart. Right. Okay. Don't 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 be in groups. Okay. And that's going that's gonna continue on. You know. He's not gonna stop stop pushing that uh, uh uh no gathering, man. Okay. Because what happens when when, when people gather? Okay. Information gets exchanged. Okay. Uh, uh people get more wise and, and get more understanding, man. Especially the men of the Lord, man. You know, that's who they, they mainly targeting. You know, no no gathering of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, because we, we gather in righteousness, man. All right, we don't gather to, to, to uh, uh, sell dope, all right, or, or to have uh, 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 parties and, and all that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? We gather to, to, uh, 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 to, to minister to each other and, and to prophesy, man. You know, we out here doing doing the job, man, a uh, work of the Lord, all right? Just to add on, bro, they want to eliminate any type of protest, man. Any type of uprising, they want to keep people from gathering and speaking up against. And like you said, the main, they want to keep the men of the Lord, man. All right, the rest of these people are just extras in the Most High movie, man. Right, right. right. Listen to me, bro. Shit, man, martial law is right around the corner, man. Right. Okay, these people for the for the man, they for the go snap, crack a land, pop, just in a minute, man. So y'all wait, y'all wait for an announcement to be made on the news. Like that, man. Go ahead, bro. Like, right, there's a lot of uh sedition, you know, being built up, man. You know, because these people want to want to go out, they want to go, they want to go party and bullshit, man. You know, and and, and, and uh, Esau is telling them, no, you can't do that. You know, even now, you know, he's not just letting people go out and, and do what they want to do. You know, you gotta you gotta follow these set of rules, man. Okay, like they said, if you have a uh, if you have a restaurant or any other establishment. You can only allow 25% uh, of your occupancy inside of these buildings, man. Right. Okay, so you you businesses are still going to be messed up, man, financially. Okay, that's only 25% of your income, man. Yeah, you still... That's a major loss. Right, right. After you done already took that L, man, you know? So 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 now, you know what I'm saying, you, 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 you're going to be struggling to make ends meet, man. Okay, it's going to be a lot of businesses. Well, they already... It's already a lot of businesses closing up shop. But it's going to be even more businesses closing up shop, man. And then they giving y'all as these uh these predatory loans and shit. You know that's why they had a lot of uh, a lot of these different companies companies and businesses. They they turned in that money, man. They, they got they got they got back like billions of dollars because them loans had a lot of uh, uh a lot of harsh terms on it, man. You know if you spent money that that you weren't supposed to spend as far as they're gonna come after your ass, man. You know. Right. Also, they had a um a new segment today on RT News about how Americans. Uh, frustration are born and over because of this quarantine, man. These people ready to go out and have fun, man, because they used to live in Canada, man. Right. Canada's lifestyle is going out, doing what they want to do to the club, staying out all types of night, and they can't do that right now. So, so, so these people are really about to go fucking crazy, man. Just, just as everybody was speaking about. These people need their wickedness to thrive, man. Right. They, they're not used to right. sitting back, bro. These people gotta, gotta go out and do their wickedness, man. Right. Right. You know? right. Right, the domestic selected so brother, mm -hmm. the domestic right. violent cases are through the fucking roof, man. Right. Right. And all in all major cities, bro. Right. And all turns anywhere, baby. So what that mean, man? He probably wasn't bugging the fuck out, man. So I guess he don't love the wife that much after all, huh? Right. He's tired of the goddamn kids, huh? <laughs> right. Shit. Wait, well, can't wait to go out. Right. This guy and, and be a whore, man. And Jake can't 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 wait to go out and be, chase hoes and be a fucking nigga, man. Can't fucking wait to do it, man. You got damn niggas play, hey, bro. And also, everybody is starting to realize how much they really don't like their family, man. 
<laughs> wow, straight up. I'm starting to realize I really don't like these motherfuckers. Because you cooped up with them. School during the day. Yeah. The woman was used to being home by herself sitting on the couch with her normal, nothing routine. And the man, if there was a man in the house, he's used to going to work and being away from all that madness. Now y'all all sitting in there looking at each other like y'all want to kill each other, which a lot of y'all do, man. Because you realize, man, you know what? I really don't like y'all. You no. Know? And that's another part of what's driving y'all crazy. Y'all got cabin fever, man. Right, right. Hey, let me give you niggas some advice, bro. Let me give you some niggas some advice, man. You better spend as much family time with your family as much as you can. They about to split your niggas up. You niggas gonna be hauled off to the goddamn concentration right. camps, bro. Right. To the FEMA camps, man. This ain't shit, man. Okay? We've been telling you, man. Okay? All these things, man, don't let Terry wait for it, man. All the things that you heard our apostles and elders and the brothers on the four corners of reality, these, these are prophecies, man. Okay? They're taking place in real time in your face, man. Okay? So you better, you better man, you better enjoy this little time you got, man. They finna get it, they finna drag you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans off to the goddamn FEMA camps, man. And there ain't gonna be nobody to fucking call, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. I'm right, right, yeah. I just met this brother, you know, I actually saw a woman that up there her status and said that she said, I'm really finding out that I really don't like my family now. Woo! Because she not used to being around them all the time. So so actually having to deal with her children, deal with her husband, actually actually like to uh, be a mother. That's a burden to her to be a mother, man. God damn. So she said, look, she said, look, I really don't like my kids or my husband. I need a vacation. I can't wait to get stuff over with so that I can go and, you know, treat my mind, man. Th look, yeah. but this is crazy, man. You know? So go ahead, brother. It's crazy, bro. Right, like they have the, uh, the black woman on, uh, on World Star. She's talking about, you need to come get these damn kids. Or right, I need to open up the school. I'm tired of these little motherfuckers. You know? Because, you know what I'm saying? That, that go back to the curses anyway, man. You know the, the the mother will will hate the child, man. You know, but but these uh you, you send these little these little uh, these little these little badass kids to the school system, you know, and, and you let you let Esau deal with them and shit. All all the while you don't even know how to deal with your own damn kids, man. Uh, you no, know? hey brother, y'all don't feel that, man. We cleanse and rejuvenate the spirit of a continent came. Man, we can wrap up and go home. Man. <laughs> okay, good, man. Jake better stop this shit, man. Go ahead. Right. Isaiah chapter ten and one again. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees right. and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Right. Hey, let me add something else to the unrighteous decrees the brothers are going into, man. They giving you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans stimulus checks, and you got to pay the goddamn taxes, man, on that shit, man. Okay? That's an unrighteous decree, man. You in the hole, they're going to shoot you a prom, and they're going to tax you on that shit. Hey, let's go. Unrighteous decrees, man. And it's, it's, well, it's plenty of plenty more, man. You, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are about to find out who this so-called white man really, really is, man. His horns and his fangs, from the, they're already showing you niggas just blinded, man. They finna come out, man, okay? And some wings don't spot out this motherfucking ass, man. He is the goddamn devil, man. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Slide, right, brother. But the, the unrighteous decrees are uh, uh, eventually that this devil gonna roll out with that, with that vaccine, man. You know? And, and, and make that shit mandatory, right? You know? So if you want to go, if you want to go to the store, you know what I'm saying. If you want to go, go to work. All right, you want to go to the bank, make a transaction. All right, you want to be amongst the public. All right, you gonna have to get a, you gonna have to have that vaccine, man. Right. You know, and you know what I'm saying. And, and they got some, they got some wicked shit that's gonna be inside of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying. If you, if you a man of the Lord, we are gonna stand on faith, man. We're not taking no, no damn vaccine, man. Right. Bro. You know. Right. And a lot of people, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people that uh, that I've talked to, they said that that uh, that they not taking the vaccine. But you know, we'll see when 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 uh when your bills can't get paid. Right, right. You know what I'm saying when your car getting repossessed. Right. We'll see what kind of what kind of uh, uh, faith you got in that day, man. Yeah, they have you know? hunger. They go hungry just for one fucking day. Right, right, right. The, 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 little, the little kids is begging you and shit, pulling on your shirt. Daddy, daddy, we hungry. You know, your wife bitching at you and shit. You know, we gonna see if we gonna get that vaccine then, man. You know. Like uh, like uh, like Apostle Hall was saying, you know what I'm saying? The same people that take the vaccines gonna be the same ones that's gonna take that microchip, man. Damn you know, it's nothing but social conditioning right. going on right, right now, man. Right. You know, with, with everything that that's, that's going on, with what you're watching on TV, all right, what they got you wearing, what they got you doing, it's all social conditioning, man. Right. It ain't gonna do nothing but get worse, man. You know.
Right, and man, and this scripture make me think of the saying that I should let a good catastrophe go to waste, man. All right, they even uh, it's a show called the Ozarks. They had quoted, they used that quote inside that show, man. All right, showing that they they take advantage of this, man, and this legislation that they put forth. They already had it. Uh, uh, that's why I say prescribed, man. They already had it laid out. They just needed uh, to set the stage to use it, man. And that's what we're seeing right now, man. All right, it's verse two. It says to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Huh. Yeah, man, the, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the needy and the, the poor of, uh, the poor of uh, uh, his people is, is you Israelites, man. You know, you the main ones out here, out here shuffling and suffering and suffering and struggling, man. All right, you the ones that's, that's the waitresses and, and, and the goddamn bartenders and all that, that bullshit, man. Okay, you the ones that ain't gonna be able to survive out here, man. All right, this damn devil is right. protecting itself, man. All these these big corporations and shit, they all getting bailed out, man. You know what I'm saying? They all receiving all these loans and shit, you know? But, but you know, this devil got, he's really uh, uh, separating the, the haves and the have-nots right now. Right. You know, after we come up out of this, uh, after we come up out of this, this economic collapse, man, you're going to see, man. You know what I'm saying? That this going to be the ruling elite and everybody else, man. That's including you, you crackers, man. All right, you low level six pack crackers. You gonna you gonna be right, you niggas to the damn uh, right. elite, man. Right, bro. You know, right. You you been so proud and you you room for Trump and shit, not even knowing that that Trump is in their back pocket, man. Right. You know, this right. man be up there cold talking and double speaking and all kind of shit, man. Going back and forth and shit, man. All over the goddamn place, and y'all y'all following after this guy, man. Right. You know. Right. It's all it's, it's, it's all a ploy, man. You know. That widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Right, man. That, that's that's Israel, man. That, that's, that's completely Israel, man. All right, is, Israel is out here, out here destitute, man. All right, it's about to be tent city everywhere in America, man. Right. All right. When this when this U.S. dollar collapse, okay, you you people are gonna see suffering and famine, man. All right. Tyson closed down, man. All right. Ain't no more ain't no more pork pork sausage no more, man. All right. Ain't gonna be no more, uh, 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 gonna <laughs> right. Ain't gonna be no more Jimmy Dean sausage, man. <laughs> okay. And then, right, right, right. And then, <laughs> and then with that, you know what I'm saying? The, the other meats are gonna go up as well, man. The chicken gonna go up. Okay. The beef gonna go up. You already got to deal with inflation. Okay. So you people dealing with the, with the triple whammy, man. You know, it's gonna be, man, when you people walk in that grocery store and you see that a, a pound of beef, okay, not even the lean shit, the, the shit with all the fat in it. A pound of that shit gonna be twenty five dollars, man. Two. Okay. Right, right, right. The two, man. The goddamn paste. Okay. That shit gonna be twenty five dollars, bro. What you gonna do? You niggas gonna be fighting though. Right, 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 right. You gonna be fighting, man. Niggas gonna be out here trying to pick grass out out the ground and eat that shit, man. It's gonna get bad out here, bro. You know. Go ahead, bro. This is Psalms chapter ten, starting at verse one. Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride do and persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So this is King David speaking, man. He said the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. And that's what he's doing to our people, man. Even, even to his own. Both right, of right. the name of Israel, man. Right. He's persecuting Jake, bro. Coming up with all these different laws and things, man. To further oppress the people and gain total control, man. Right. We see it, bro. But see, two thirds don't see it. Jake Mine is caught up on the NBA coming back. Right. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these, these, uh, what is uh, the uh, movie? All right, vacation and stuff, man. But Jake is not seeing that their lives is, is being, being stripped, man. All right, the little freedom that they so called had at one time is being taken from them, man. Right? It says, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous. Whom Yahweh apart. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek out the most high. Mm. The most high is not in, not in all his thoughts. At all. His ways are always grievous. Woo. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. Mm. Right. It says his ways are always grievous, meaning that it's burdensome, man. To deal with Esau is grievous, man, because right. he always wants some extra crazy stuff, you know, some you to do, man. Right. Sign it, sign that. Come here, go there, man. Right. You know who it is. Right, right, right. Uh, agree to this, agree to that. No, there is some wickedness behind it, man. Right. But see, the Heavenly Father had this devil already covered, man. We know about your ways, devil. Right. You know? Are we waiting on the most how to truly take this take this nasty place down, man? Uh, All right. God, God, God bro. Hey, Deuteronomy chapter 30. It's like unto thee, 
O people saved by Yahweh, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee. Who, you, you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have an enemy, man, by nature, by nature, man. Okay? The most high is perfect balance, man. Okay? Esau Edom is your enemy, man. And if you don't know who your enemy is, give you a, 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 a teaching, a point, man. A, a, a grain point. He should be found to be liars to you, man. Right. <laughs> Shit, bro. Who it, it, ain't even no second, it ain't even no second, close second place, man. It's Esau Edom, the song called White Man. Nothing he put out is for your benefit, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You ready for these vaccines, man? Bro, you trust this goddamn devil, man? Like your brother brought up. Right, God. Again. Like the brother this brother, he don't even give a shit about his own, own right. people, man. The scripture says, why seek love from them that don't love themselves, man? Right. Right. You got to find a deep, you Joe six pack crackers that be on the, the comic board. Fuck you niggas gonna kill you, niggas, blah, blah, blah. Right. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. Hey, bro. The, the, the devil, these elites, these right. hook no Jews, they don't give a shit about you neither, man. Okay? All right? But they put on that, they put on that, that, that facade, man. Okay, we're gonna help you. We we are for the people. America's strong. We are one. <laughs> exactly. You can't do nothing but laugh at that, yeah, man. Right, right. So you can't strong. do nothing but laugh at that, man. Why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans be trusting that, man? Right. The scripture said don't trust in your enemy, man. If you don't know who your enemy is now, prepare for death, man. Because right. it's coming, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. Right. You still got these damn six pack crackers talking about the, the Democrats and the and the left and the right. Just that bullshit <laughs> paradigm, man. Right. Don't even know what the hell shit. Don't even know what the hell going on in a, in a planet Earth, man. You still think this is about uh, uh left and right, man. You know what I'm saying? This this devil about the on all you peons, man. All right, you 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 limiting yourself to oh well, it's the Democrats that's rolling this side. It's the the Democrats that started the virus, man. This is damn devil, man. Okay, it, it's Esau that did this shit, man. You know, and, and even these these uh these guys that's doing the little the little truth of videos and all that shit. All these uh, Edomites, man. They they trying to hide that that the elite that that's ruling all this shit are all Edomites, man. Right. It's all the so-called white man doing all this shit, man. Okay, ain't no Jake uh, uh running shit, man. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, Psalm 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Right. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Right. That's just that's this damn devil, man. Okay. Estranged from the womb, man. All right. This devil is, is, is pure wickedness, man. Ever since he, he came out the womb, man. All right. Little, little, little Edomites be fucking uh, 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 putting firecrackers on cats and shit. All right. Uh, decapitating dogs and all kind of wicked ass shit, man. That's the man that you're dealing with, man. That's right. the enemy, man. Okay, but instead, Jake see his brother as his enemy, man. Okay, Jake see the other tribes as his enemy, man. You got a uh, uh, tribal wars, man, between northern and southern kingdom. Okay, when when really it's this damn devil that's putting his foot on your neck. Okay, he just so happened to put your ass in the same uh, uh, so-called habitat, man. You know, and I call it a, a, a habitat because this devil is experiment with you, Jake, man. All right, that's how he came up with the damn projects, man. All right, let's cram all these niggas in, in, in the same area. All right, fill it up with poverty and dope and see what the fuck they do, man. All right, what did y'all do? Wild out, man. All right, wild out, fight each other, kill each other, all right, all right, and put each other to death, man. All right, that's all it is out here is death for you two thirds, man. Okay? Word uh, wicked in the etymology is uh, uh, 1200 extended from the earlier wick meaning bad, wicked, or false, which apparently is an act, ad adjective use of own English word wicker, but means wizard. It says see witch, man. Okay, so it's talking about something that's bad and is related to witchcraft, man. Wickedness, man. Okay, who who is that, man? That's Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man, man. Okay, the one that you love so much, man. Okay, he's about this witchcraft, man. Right. He's got you niggas under 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 deep spell, man. And it's not it's not when you when you but hey, I was gonna say when you niggas gonna wake up, but it's not meant to that. That's just that sympathy in Jake for people. Right. Two thirds are not gonna wake up, man. Y'all y'all was it, it was meant for you to to, to, to drop out of sport, man. And you will. We just out here doing the you know what I'm saying, building the most high power out of field, trying to see the elect man to give the judge. Twenty eight, verse fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you right. and very delicate, his eyes shall be.
be evil toward his brother. Right. Woo! So that's why you got your Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here putting yourself to death uh, 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 minute after minute, hour after hour, man. All right? Go to some of these, these damn websites that show you Jake's Wild and I, man. All right, more specifically, uh, World Star. All right? Got you damn Asherites down there in Brazil, uh, uh, knife fighting and shit, gunning each other the fuck down. All right, got you damn Jake's doing fucking drive-bys and shit, okay? That's a, that, that's that's how we got the essence, man. You know, these Jakes out here got their own little carnal knowledge and all they barbershop bullshit, man. That shit don't mean nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the truth, man. We understand why people are so messed up, man. You know, man, it's a, it's a spiritual thing as to why our people are so messed up, man. Because these other nations ain't ain't doing the same shit that that uh, our people are doing, man. You know, our people are are are, 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 are cursed, man. You know, according to the according to the scriptures, man. All right, and and they, they ain't gonna get right into the into the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. This is Zechariah chapter eleven, verse fourteen. Then I cut asunder my other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. Heavenly Father broke their brotherhood that we once had as a people, man. Right. All right. When when Israel divided. Uh, during the time of a uh, real bomb, all right, our forefather real bomb, uh, uh, the King Solomon, man, it's been war ever since, bro. It's been war. Go read about it, man. Right. Israel been into it ever since then, man. Jake, hey, hey, it was at one point that Jake wasn't even uh, considering each other people, man. Right. Judah and Israel, this was back when we was in Israel, man. They, they didn't consider the southern kingdom their people anymore, man. And same thing for Judah towards Israel, man. That's how, that's how tough and, um, uh, tough and, what is it, uh, contentious. Jake was toward each other, man. Right. The hate was actually real, man. It's still real to this day. Right. You know? Right. You got it, brother. Jake too fucking stiff neck to, to get that, man. All right. Even though this devil knows exactly who you are, man. All right. That's why he keeps speaking on y'all uh, 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 and putting y'all together, man. All right. Putting you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans together, all right, in the same categories, man. All right. When it comes to uh, uh, your health, all right, your well-being, all right, your living situation, okay, your, 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 your uh, uh, being in poverty, man, okay. Everything, everything in this system, in, the, in this devil system, shows that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are of the same people, man. Okay, but like the like the scriptures say, man, the Most High put put a, a, a rift between uh, you tribes, man. All right. But uh, hold on, I just want to um go to uh recently you've had uh. UFO sightings, okay, all throughout throughout the planet Earth, man. All right, you had on uh, Fox News, okay, they they were showing uh, uh, the government released videos of the chariots, all right, zipping through the air, okay, and putting off all kind of maneuvers, man. All right, while these uh these these pilots of these fighter jets are, are in amazement, you know. But all this goes back goes back to the scriptures, man. Okay, the the the, the, the what you uh, uh, see as a uh, Unidentified aircraft, man, or the, the chariots of the Most High Power, man. Okay, and we we have identified them, man, according to the Spirit, man. Okay, we know what we know what those things are, man. Those are going, those that's what's uh Yahweh Shai is gonna come with and bring salvation to the nation of Israel, man. All right. Okay, yeah, okay, I got you. This Exodus chapter thirteen started at verse twenty, and they took their journey from Sukkoth and they camped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. Right. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them, uh, to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. Uh, right, that's, that's the chariots, man. Right. Okay, that's the chariots of the, of the most high power, man. right? All right, and they, they led us throughout, throughout the wilderness, man, okay? That's the same, those are the same uh, uh, chariots that are going to deliver us out of Babylon, man. Right. All right. What this devil knows is, is uh, UFOs, man. Okay. And this damn devil is prepared to fight uh, uh, Yahweh Shah on, on his return, man. Okay. And, and that, that that inferior jet fighters you got, man, it ain't going to work, man. All right. I seen a, a, a video recently of, a, 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 I think it was an F-22 Raptor, man, the, uh, the U.S. jet. Okay, hey man, it's a, it's a it's a bad piece of machinery, man. Some of them motherfuckers, man. You know, and this damn devil thinks that he's so smart, man. The most high gave you that they gave you that uh, ingenuity, man. He ain't got nothing to do with you, man. All right, you a, you a damn uh, caveman, man, a, a brute beast. Okay, 
the, the most I just gave you that for, for the sake of his movie, man. All right? Because when you when you depict the movie, all right, you you win in the end, right? It's a it's a big it's a big chariot invasion, all right? Nothing but but UFOs blocking the sky, blowing shit the fuck up, all right, impervious, they got uh they got uh 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 what they call it? The Damn, goddamn I, the you four didn't see what that sign on that truck said what that is it, right? said precision uh demolition. Right? Come on, come on, come on. That's what it's gonna be when them chariots come back, man. It's gonna be precision and, and demolition, man. All right. It ain't gonna be like you, you Edomites, y'all go and uh, uh, try to strike a target, all right, and hit a bunch of civilians and shit, okay? It's gonna be, it's gonna be with, with, with precision, man, okay? And even the, the nuclear missiles gonna land with, with precision, man, all right? Because the Most High gonna put his spirit on, on the missiles, man, right. okay? But, you know, going into the chariots, man, you devils, y'all always depict the movie where y'all, uh, uh, Y'all gonna jump on the back of the chariot and disable the force field and all that. Hey, that shit ain't gonna happen, man. You know? no, what's gonna happen is Ant Man gonna shrink down yeah, and slide it between the uh, right, right, right. The plates. Or Will Smith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'll end for a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God damn, bro. Hey, let me say this, man. You can scratch unidentified flying object out the window, bro. Does that mean that? The flying object, you can't, you don't know what it is. You just know the flying object. The most hot of the law, the chairs, goddamn, bro. The most hot of a lot, the chairs to show themselves, man. It's like you can't, bro. You can't even get on YouTube without seeing a chariot video, bro. Right, Not right. no fuzzy, pixelated shit. Shit, right the fuck, right, bro. bro. <laughs> right. It's identified, man. Okay. It's some shit out of this world, man. So prepare to deal with it. Done. Done. Releasing uh foul footage. Right. From the uh, armed forces, right. of them trying to keep up and trace the, you know, pilots giving they spiel, and they got it recorded and everything. Right. You gotta let it go because it's too many sites. The angels are making themselves uh, seen, man. So now you can't, you can't suppress it no more. You can't just say, oh, well, everybody that's saying that they need one of them ten four hats on. Right. Well, a large majority of people are spotting the chariots, man. So now you can't suppress that anymore. And that's all part of prophecy. The chariots are making themselves known, man, because we're at the end of this thing, man. It's a wrap. Right. Right. And you had Esau, somebody, Edom was recording chariots, man. And uh, Esau saw it, he was like, that, that's not that's not of this world, man. Like it's kind of like alien. <laughs> yeah. right. And then and then uh, the chariot had like got real bright, bro. Esau gave out a scream that I never heard before. That's <laughs> real. I was like, he real deal with like a ah, like <laughs> scream so loud because he never saw it before. Right. And I and I, I even my brother right beside him hollering, man, because they never saw anything like that sure. in fashion, man. All right, look, I was shook too, bro. Like, man, look at that. You know what I'm saying? That uh, sight, man. Mm -hmm. So Esau, these people, bro, they seeing the chariots in the sky, man. And they want answers, you know. Right, right. So you know, Esau been a devil. He, he gonna try to say, oh, you know what? It's, it's, it's aliens. Right. You know, you know what? You know, or maybe they are true. Right. We got the space force on deck. Right. right. And then, and then, and then they got the new episodes of the uh, ancient, uh, ancient uh, yeah, uh, ancient aliens. These astronaut theories, you know, talking about the chariots, man. Which them guys are totally bugged out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Esau know that this is true, man. But it's just you people don't know because because you grew up watching Cartoon Network and all these other shows thinking that it looked green man in there, all right, from Mars, man. That's complete madness, you know? Right, that's that's a uh, chariots of the Lord, a uh, hot topic right now, man. You know, I seen that, uh, they had, uh, they had uh, spoke on the, the chariots on the, on the, uh, the uh, Joe Rogan podcast, you know, which he, uh, he a goddamn bug out. But the uh, the Edomite he had on there, he was trying to explain away the, the chariots, man. All right, trying to say, oh, I, I think it's a, a government op, okay? I think it's a, I think it's a drone, okay? I think it's a, a, a it's a quad copy, okay? And even uh, uh, that bug out Joe Rogan was like, nah, it ain't it ain't possible because they got images of these chariots going in and out, and they zipping, they going from one place to another, from from zero to a thousand miles per hour, man, okay? And that's right, man. That showed the, the power of the Lord, man. The power of the Lord is in them ships, man. Yeah, you know? Shapes, sizes. Right. You seeing nothing but a small uh, 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 light. Right. The distance all of a sudden it changed. Like the brother said, man, the speed and the maneuvers and the chariot. And that's this is That's why it's going to put so much fear right. in these people, man. Right. Because right. it's going to show the full glory of what we've been seeing from a distance, man. All right. Hey, did y'all see that triangular chair? Right, right. That, hey, bro, that's the closest thing I've seen 
that I saw when I saw the chairs go. It shot off just like that. But that streak of light just for right. They like, oh shit. They burn. Most of them not playing. Right, man. Okay. So, how many times you gotta tell these bald head ass niggas, man? Okay? Cause we, you know, we give out the judgment to Esau Edo, but shit, hey, bro, you, your skirt lifted, man. Your both both cheeks is out in the wind, man. Right. And we getting on you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You better get away from this goddamn devil, man. Come back to your power and your nationality, man. You niggas about to go through the through the meat grinder, man. Right. You niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it ain't gonna be nobody to call, man. Right. It ain't gonna be no pistol, no gun, no black panther. None of that, uh, none of that black. Nothing, bro. Right. Nothing, bro. The, the militia, right? the militia. Oh, man, bro. Oh, yeah. man, bro. You're gonna run through like metal music, bro. <laughs> right, okay? Right, right, bro. Have you not, hey, bro? See, that's the thing is, y'all don't know y'all power. Y'all ain't read these scriptures, man. Okay? Like the brother was going into, I them chairs go through, man. And they gonna shoot their shit. It's gonna be nothing but dust and smell of smoke messing around right. this motherfucker, man. Right. That niggas ain't seen that. Right. Right. You simple. Go ahead, man. And that's 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 gonna be that's that's pure power, man. Right. You know, coming off them cherry, them, them laser beams gonna burn white hot, man. Woo! You know, just like in the uh uh the movie uh War of the Worlds, man. Motherfuckers just popping up out their clothes, man. Ain't gonna be no clothes right. either. Dude this ran gonna... through that, through the, 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 the matter. <laughs> right, right. 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 You ran right. through the nigga, man. Right. And right. had to put his clothes off of it, bro. Right. That's right. gonna bug you the fuck out. Right. 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 The most I got the got the greatest movie you you ever seen. <laughs> right. Written right here in this right. book, man. Yeah. You know. The most high is the, the greatest director uh, 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 ever, man. Right. All right. You think these Edomites can make some shit? You know, Steven Spielberg and uh, uh, Michael Michael Bay and all that that bullshit, the pyrotechnics and all that shit. Y'all gonna y'all gonna really feel the heat, man. You know, y'all gonna really uh, uh, understand who Yahweh is, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say that the most high is a man of war, man. All right. Okay. And, and Esau Esau is preparing for that, man. Okay. These damn at least they know what these chariots are, man. You know, that's the reason why he, he's releasing these videos, man, and this footage. Okay, it's for you to it's for you to build resentment towards the Most High. Okay, so when you see them chairs, you gonna you gonna have a, the gall to try to uh, attack them, man. Right. Okay, all you, you you dumbass Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in this military. Okay, while your ass over there in the, in the Middle East fighting for World War Three. Okay, your Howard Shaw is gonna is gonna come on that chariot, man. All right, and you idiots are gonna are gonna shoot at the uh, uh, the Most High Son, man. You know, because your ass is bugged out, man. Fight for this damn devil, man. Okay. Yeah. In Psalms chapter one hundred four, verse three, who led the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of Wins. Right, the scriptures say who who make it the the clouds his chariots, man. You know because these these uh these these chariots, you know, they they be in the in the midst of the clouds, man. You know they go they go in and out. You know you'll see a, a video and it just look like it. You'll just see like some some clouds, but then you'll see the the image of the chariot, man. Right. Okay. Then they go back to clouds. Right. You know when it's when the scripture talk about your yeah, Howard Shaw coming with clouds, man, ain't talking about uh, uh the Nimbus cloud. All right, our brothers right, right. always say ain't talking about the the cloud. From goddamn Dragon Ball Z, all right? He ain't talking about that, man. It's talking about the chariots of the Most High Power, man. Okay, you damn you, you simple ass people, man. All right. It's Isaiah chapter six, six and fifteen. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right, right, man. That's the that's the that's the chariots, man. Okay, the most high is coming, the most high is sending his son down here for judgment, man. Right? For all of the wickedness done in, 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 in Babylon, man. All right, and throughout all of the planet Earth, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai ain't coming back with, with, with uh dandelions and, 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 and laughing taffies and shit, right. man. Okay, he coming to push shit down, man. Okay? He coming to, to uh put these damn devils in chains, okay, the elite of the house of Esau. All right, he coming to, to uh, uh, lift up the, the 144,000, man. Okay, and you two thirds are gonna get slayed too. Okay, you 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 niggas that come out of the chariots, man. Okay, you seen us prophesying of the chariots, man. All right, you thought nothing of it. Okay, you thought you thought we was just a bunch of uh, crazy bugged out niggas, man. All right, but you gonna see in that day, man. All right, you gonna see the, the, the destruction that the Most High got got prepared for you people, man. You know. 
Yeah, Chance was uh, uh, to said to be our protection, man. Right, Cotton. right. But Jake, after being led through the wilderness, led through uh, 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 out of Egypt, man, they still bucked up, man. All right, now the most I'm going to uh, show you what the, the opposite of what the chariots to do when you when you don't get right, man. Okay. Ain't All that right? something not a cloud by day covering them from the, the, that, that beaming sun and the light at night, guiding them through the pitch black? In fact, they ain't had no goddamn street lights, man. Right. Okay. And the moonlight, man. Right. And the, the most high put a stand over Israel, man. You niggas still bucked up, man. Right. You niggas gonna give me exactly what the fuck you deserve, man. And I also, Go ahead, bro. I also call it the curse of the earth. Right. This is a uh, book of Psalm, chapter 91, and verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snarl of the fowler, the snare of the fowler, Salakia, and from the noise and pestilence, man. And that's what we uh fighting towards, man. This shit, man. <laughs> we know the most high sitting in the chariots, all right, for judgment, man. Are right, you gonna be judged unto uh, condemnation or judged unto salvation, man? We fighting so when the Troy, uh, chariots come, that we'll be beamed up and delivered from the nuclear fire that's coming to America and throughout the rest of the world, man. Whoever the Most High elect uh, is, man. Okay. Read on. Says he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His trust shall thou shall uh, shall be thy shield and buckler. And that's going in, further going in to the chariots, man. All right, the Most High sending them to, to protect and will deliver his elect, man. All right, while the rest of these people are going to get the opposite end of, uh, uh, of, of judgment, man. All right, which is death and destruction, man. All right, which we just brought out uh, uh, in um, uh, Isaiah 66, man. Okay, verse 5, it says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, man. And that's what we put our trust in, man. All right, the rest of these people, when we talk about the chariots, that's the one thing that people say, you know what, all right, you're going too far, man. All right, you're talking about yeah. UFOs and flying objects, man. That's when they say, y'all bugged out, man. All right, but we have our trust in that because that's our only way out of here, man. Right. All right? But niggas grew up on Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny right. and the Tooth Fairy. Right, right. But they can't, but man, go ahead, brother. It's like it, bro. The niggas don't right. get exactly what the it's, fuck it's, you deserve. Right. Right. Yeah, also, with Jake, they don't say that they believe in the Bible. Right. But what they don't understand is that what we're talking about is actually written about in the Holy Scriptures, right, man. Right. These vehicles that, that you saw so-called showing you people, man, is written about in the Holy Bible. Right. They always existed since the beginning of the time, man. But when we bring it out unto our people, it seems like a fairy tale to them because they have no understanding. Right. And that's part of the curses of they not having no knowledge, man. Yeah. They is completely gone, man. But if you tell him that a Michael Jordan to go or LeBron Jane to go, that's believable to Jake, man. Right. Or any it, like like any other foolishness, Jake understand that man. Right. Like or like a young thug song. Jake understand that man. Damn, bro, damn, show sure right, you did, bro. right. <laughs> and I still don't know right. what that nigga say to right. the state. Right. You niggas is gone. Go Jake, ahead, Jake, Jake, look, you can translate that and break God it down damn. to you all the way to the guy. Look, to, look, you can break it all the way down, man. You got a demon on you, bro. As concerning righteousness and things that are important, Jake don't want to know it, man. You know. Right. No, I was gonna say in it. That's all, Jake, bro. That's even you Christians, man. Because if we tell you that what y'all call UFOs are the chariots of the Lord that the angels ride on, you call us insane. But if we was out here telling you that angels was on a goddamn Ben-Hur chariot with wheels and spikes pulled by a goddamn Pegasus horse running on the air flapping his wings, that Greek mythology bullshit, y'all believe that? Then that's some far-fetched shit, man. You a horse with some wings running on the air, pulling. Why does he have wings if he's running on the air? <laughs> Why the chariot got wheels if it's going through the air? None of that shit. Tupac is alive. Right. And he's going to make, he's going to come back. Right. Our people, like the scriptures say, our people is simple. It's foolish, man. Right. That, that's our people to a T. Right. But then, but then, because see, Jake believe they, they don't believe in the most time, but they believe that he's that nigga, man. <laughs> they say that. I'm that nigga. I'm the truth. Right. 
Right? You believe that, right? But anything else is uh, irrelevant to our people, man, because it's not anything in righteousness they don't want to deal with it, man. Right. And and that's been the story of Israel since we became a people, man. Anything dealing with righteousness, holiness, serving the most high man, doing what's right, they don't want to do with it, bro. Right. At all. And this is why we're on the other side of the world, man. Serving the captivity. Yeah. You know? You got it, brother. Yeah, you bring that up. Isaiah. Isaiah 20. Uh -huh. okay. This is Isaiah. Chapter 26, verse 20. Come, my people, into doubt into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be opaque. Right, that's that's the uh, the elect going into them, them chariots, man. Okay, that's gonna be our uh, 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 that that's gonna be our uh, uh, protection, man. Ultimately, our protection is your Hawaii your how shot, you know. But when them missiles come and strike down Babylon. We're gonna be in them in them chariots, man. All right, looking at this destruction, man. Okay, right, Lord willing, man. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna witness the destruction of Babylon, man. Okay, you people are gonna sit down and, and, and be astonished, man, when you see uh, uh, brothers getting beamed up, man. That's gonna be a a, 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 a a scary sight for you people, okay? To see the Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans that you, you talk shit about, all right, that you had in captivity being delivered, all right? All the while, while you got a damn thermonuclear missile about to about to blow your ass up, man. Okay, and, and melt your ass. Okay. Hey, uh, Khan. This is a uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. It said in verse two. It says, "When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear." Right. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. So far beyond all that they look for. Right. How, how strange is that going to be, bro? Right. So they already talk about aliens and, and, and unidentified. So when they do make themselves known, I'm talking about like sitting on the top of that damn building right there. Where you can right. see the goddamn yeah. crevices right. and designs in it. Right. Then it start beaming what you call niggas up, man. It's fixed and off the tomahawks, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. The scum of the earth what you thought. And you're gonna be like, well, damn, the fuck? Then you're gonna know at that moment, right? Because the scripture said, you're gonna be moaning in anguish in the spirit. You're gonna be like, well, damn, right. I fucked up. <laughs> I, I, I was, shit, I was on the wrong page at, 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 all along. But finish the beat that I was about to get shot. Let's start from the top, man, because you see when you really, uh, the brother called for, uh, for verse one, man, the subject matter, you really get in, it's letting you know this is the mind of the elites, how they gonna be seeing it, man. They didn't put all this effort in to trying to stop the men of the Lord, and then they're going to get beamed up, man. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and ha and made no account of his labors. Right, that's what we're speaking. I just want to get this on camera. Keep speaking, bro. All right, that's what we're doing right now, man. All right, standing on my feet. All right, prophesying the, uh, uh, the destruction of this kingdom, okay? The destruction of uh, Esau's rulership, okay? And, and, and going into the, the salvation of, uh, of the elect, man. All right, the 144,000 and a one third, man. Okay, and this this has this devil terrified, man. All right, this is the only thing that this, these elites are, are worried about, man. Okay, they're not worried about you, you, you black Black Panther uh, Israelites. Okay, they're not worried about you, you Black Lives Matter niggas. All right, they're not worried about you Edomites and your militias and your guns and your ARs. They're not worried about none of that shit, man. They worried about what the men of the, men of the Lord are doing on the highways right, and byways, right, man. Right. Okay, they out there. Hey, man, they out there prophesying again, man. They out there every week. Okay, they they they, they saying that, that the chariots gonna come and all that and all this and that. Okay, they 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 know, man. They know, you know. And other people listening to them. Right, right, <laughs> right, man. And, and other people are listening, and, and and brothers are getting edified, man. Okay, that that going to you know that left hand and right hand, man. You know what I'm saying? That the men of the Lord are doing what they're supposed to be doing, man. All right? The, 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 the 144,000 will be doing what the Most High appointed them to be doing, man. Just like them, them, them elites on the left-hand side, man. They they going hard, too. You see what they you see what they got going on right now on the planet Earth, man? Everybody out here shook, man. Okay? Everybody out here, okay? They ain't got no faith in your how you how shot, man. Scared to go outside and shit. Okay? So these, these elites, are, they doing their job, man. Okay? And, and the men of the Lord are doing their job as well, man. All right, but the Most High, uh, the Most High is on the side of the, that right hand side, man. Okay, the Most High is dealing with the men of the Lord. Okay, he ain't dealing with with Esau, man. All right. Hey, you know what I was thinking about, man. You got a man. These elites, they got 
they got record and track of everything we didn't Google, research, right. read, all the books you didn't purchase online and get in, man, doing the going into all their different acts, the weapons that they uh getting ready to use against us, man. And they said, okay, these men know all this shit we go we can do to them, and they still don't fear us, man. They still going out there and prophesying, man. Right. So, right. Uh, all this, this, uh, all this, this, these uh, weapons that this devil got, man, ain't no way uh, 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 you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can can rebel against this devil, man. This devil got got got, got Navy vessels, okay. Right. He got submarines. He got nuclear missiles, okay. He got jets. Right. He got helicopters. All right. He got tanks. Right. All right. Right. He, he got laser weapons. Laser weapons. Got, got right. drones. Right. All right. He got that damn uh, robot dogs and shit. Right. And other shit we ain't even right. seen before. Sonic shit. Okay. But niggas is talking about uh, having a rebellion. Okay. <laughs> Going up against Esau's kingdom, man. Are you out of your damn mind, man? They all out of their goddamn mind, bro. <laughs> niggas still holding on to the thread that they bought when they first came into society, bro. Right. Niggas ain't got no weapons, man. Right. Right. Esau got some right. shit for your ass, man. <laughs> the most high gave him the knowledge to have it, it seems. The white man is, you don't find out that Esau is the white man, is, Esau is, is, is the most high sword, man. You right. gonna put him on you niggas, man. Mm. You niggas forget it, man. You niggas forget it, man. Go ahead. Right, that showed the, the difference, man. That showed the difference uh, between you and you Jakes that got your little carnal movements and all that shit and, 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 and the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we are spiritual, man. You Jakes are, are carnal, man. Ain't no way you can uh, uh, overcome this, this devil, man, through, through uh, carnal means, man. Okay, we need a, a divine intervention, man, and that divine intervention is written in the scriptures, man, all throughout the scriptures. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna receive salvation through 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 Yahweh Shah. Okay, through uh, 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 Yahweh gonna bring his son Yahweh Shah to deliver us, man. Okay, with them chariots. All right, and with with spiritual powers. Okay, that's how we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, take this devil out, man. The Most High is gonna make the the elect uh, uh, his battle axe, man, and his his weapon of war, man. All right, all these uh, uh, Avengers movies that y'all watch. Okay, y'all like y'all like uh, uh, Thor. Okay, y'all like the Incredible Hulk. All right, y'all like uh, uh, goddamn well not not Iron Man. See, he, he he that's that's a work of Esau. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Superman. Right, 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 right. They right. love Superman. Bro. Right, right, right. The real the real Superman is, is gonna be the the, uh, the elect man the, of, the, of the of the house of Israel. Right. Okay, yeah. and we're gonna have a, a hell of a time. You know what I'm saying, Lord willing. Getting the getting the tell, tell Esau shit up, man. No all right, weakness. right, right. No, impervious to, to to all your your attacks, man. All right. Uh, uh, I think I said in the, in the Hulk movie, the, uh, he he he. Uh, I think he caught the missile out the tank or some shit yeah, he like caught that. that he caught that motherfucker. The top off of that bitch. <laughs> right, bro. That's the kind of shit we gonna be doing, man. That's kind of stuff we we look forward to. Okay, not looking forward to going to fucking academy and buying a fucking a uh, uh, bushmaster. Okay, that's not what we look forward to, man. All right. Uh, uh, goddamn Winchester re repeater. What the fuck right. is wrong with you, Jakes, man? Okay. You had, it's like, but you had a Umar Johnson. All he's talking about is the Dredgey Douglas, Marcus Garvey school. He gonna oh, so-called get. And he said, he said, look, our boys need schools. Right. We need to build these schools right. so, that, so that so that we can teach our boys work so that we can build our own banks, our own communities, just trying to bring back Black Wall Street, man. Right, right. That already been seen, bro. But <coughs> but this nigga real did believe in his mind wholeheartedly that if you get this Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey school going up and running, they gonna help our community, <laughs> man. And also you yeah, got Dr. Reggie talking about he got the Black City Pack. And, yeah, yeah, Reggie with all fact. with all uh, for lightning him, he said that all he needed to do, he had said, uh, Shit, come see me then. <laughs> he got what? Right, the uh, Black City Plan. And uh, he said, oh, with the Black City Plan, he's going to just go in and take the school system. He said, I'm going in to take the whole city, the uh, police department, the court system, the school system. Go ahead. All the houses. <laughs> this is his plan in his mind, man. But you haven't seen these niggas, bro. <laughs> Who my Johnson haven't shown one school yet, man. Right. This guy scamming like he been brought out as a scammer. He got millions of dollars that's ripping Jake, bro. Right. And, and they still believe in this man, bro. Right. The, the, the black hotel niggas say if you if you educate a man, then you've only educated him. But if you educate the black woman, then you've educated the nation. So you're gonna read some opposition. I don't know how y'all gonna work that out, man. I don't know how y'all gonna work that out, man. Good luck. You talk about uh hey, no, go ahead. Our people is looking for a savior, man. Right. They looking for a redeemer to come get them, the man. Wrong place. They looking in the wrong, wrong place. Right. Because right. right. in all, man, our people know they can't do shit against this devil, man. Right. 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 Fifty niggas sitting on the block. One police come through. 
Hey, bro. What they say? Hey, hey, bro. Bro. They say, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. They wrote by saying, like it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I have a period, bro. Like, like it's a game, game or something. Game like it's a motherfucking game. game. That's, that's, that's that nigga shit, shit, man. Hey, that's that nigga shit, man. That's that nigga shit. Right there. That's crazy, bro. Hey, like, you know what? Let's go here, brother. Nah, I was saying, like, like, they're supposed to be intimidating or something to us, bro. We out here to teach the people. Look, we're out here to teach the people. 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 We're out here they, cool. they, look, right. there's a house of Saul, man. Right. 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 Ride by to intimidate the house of David, man. Right. You know? With your woman. Right. Hey, period, period, man. Like that means something, man. <laughs> we don't, you don't see nobody riding around talking about like GMS, period. Because right. yeah. GMS not going to get you into the kingdom, man. Right. It's just a moniker, man. <laughs> right. Exactly. You dumb, like stupid exactly. niggas, man. Let's just separate, like the brother made the point, that's showing the house of David versus the house of Saul, man. And, man, I'm just a quick testimony. It was uh, last Saturday, I was passing by downtown and I saw some brothers, I don't know with, who they affiliated with. Uh, they was teaching uh, down there on Milo. And I, I said, man, I hit the block and I just stopped, I saluted them, told them keep pushing the word, man. All right, so that just show you going back, that's the curses, man. All right, and then the division through the spirit amongst Jake, man. Jake not understanding what this thing is about, man. All right, you know how gone you are to be sitting around driving home and allowing your woman to scream out the damn window to men? Woo! Go ahead and, and be under that vibration, man. All right, and see how that's going, how far that's going to get you, man. Sitting down, uh, sipping wine and watching ISUPK together at shit, man. While your woman lusting after one of, the, uh, uh, one of the men from ISUPK. Right. Man. Right. Right. Yeah, brother, go ahead. Bro. I was just going into like the, the carnality of these different groups, man. And the spirit had it be shown, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Uh, right. Jake come out here on some on some uh, uh, gang gang shit, man. Eh? You know the same Jake stuff that's rolling around in the grass, all right, trying to do tactical drills out there doing goddamn uh, 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 wrestling and shit, working out with rusty ass weights and, and at the gun range, man. All right, that's kind of Jake's that 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 that, that 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 that's the corner Jake's man of, right. of Israel, man. Right. You know the, the house saw, man. All right, they 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 manifested, all right, out of nowhere. Right. Okay. Hey, but that's the spirit because we going into the scriptures say, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Right. That's not an example of right. standing in great boldness, not at all. man. That's not making the elites have fear. That's not pushing the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and that's what we're about, pushing the spirit of righteousness in this wicked ass place, man. Right. Right. You know what? A true testimony. I didn't pass by IUIC downtown and ISUPK didn't pass by. There's not now one of you that can say that we didn't salute y'all. We saluted y'all, man. We ain't never. It, it's not about we GMS, we ISU. It's not about that. That's that corner shit, man. We out here bringing out the truth, man. That's what it's about, okay? Right. Right. The truth of the understanding of what this book is talking about, man. Feeling the elect, man. Exactly. Not no gang gang nigga shit. Right. You got certain of those men. That's gonna take the chip, man. Right. Because right. of their leaders. Right. But y'all out there, we I ask you, man, 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 man. All right. That should be the least of your goddamn words, man. Don't even know Don't even know what the mark of the beast is, man. Y'all calling on Christ, man. But we all right, right. We'll, we'll see. In we the will end, see, man. right, man. We gonna when see. Clear, man. And you know what? It ain't even nothing to get upset about, it. right? Because that's what's written, man. Right. Yeah. It's really a shame for that. I feel sorry. For yeah, yeah. I feel, yeah. Hey, whoever that cat is, man. I feel sorry for it, man. This right, bro. Right, man. You got your woman calling over you, man. Man, y'all. Go ahead, brother. Right. That's hey. dishonorable, man. Ain't that weak, man? We, right. Go ahead, that's bro. Crazy, but but, but I gotta show you that. About you guys, man. Right, at all, at man. all bro. At all. But they're gonna show that you guys are sitting back thinking about us, man. Y'all been tormenting spirits with you the spirit right. about John the Baptist, right. about the mark of the beast. That's right. And a few other topics, man. Right. Sodom. Right, right. right. Oh yeah, Sodom, man. And y'all hate the apostle hard, man. Yeah. Y'all hate him, man, because your leader hate him, bro. Right. But the apostles said that they rather you repent, man. Right. They said they're gonna pray for you, man. That's right. Now, one time you heard Junior and Hunter say, I'm gonna pray for the apostle hard now, man. Right. It's all about now to hell with the battle out of that. But the apostle said they don't pray for the man, man. Right. That show you that those men are merciful men. Right. That's you mercy, know? bro. But y'all guys not about praying for us, man. Y'all, 
Yo, that's once you have the minds and downfall, man. Right, bro. But guess right. what? I'm gonna go pray for that brother tonight. Right. right. Hopefully, most I have mercy on him, man. Right. But if not, then. Right. You gonna get what? too right. upon us. Right, man. That's the scripture. But I love you. How wish I was never like that, man. God. He, sure he never like that, bro. He he told me to scribe the past. Look, y'all gotta repent, man. I guess you're right, right? Look, believe in me. I'm the Messiah. Look, if you don't believe in me, look, but you're gonna die, man. Right. So he was being merciful toward them, bro. Exactly. But it got to a point to where them guys just showed themselves to be true devils. He yes. said, look, you know what? Okay. To hell with, to hell with y'all, man. Because even the most high said he don't have that's the heavenly father. Continue yep. on. But right. this is what's written in prophecy, man. Y'all mocking. These are the last days. Y'all the mockers, man, that's written about that should go after their own hearts, man. Right. Yes, y'all, man. You got it, out. It's crazy. Y'all got a big precept. Uh, this is uh, Sirach, chapter 22 and verse 13. It says, Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries, man. And through the spirit, that's what we do, man. All right, we don't deal with these men that's not dealing with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding uh, of the word, man. All right, and what do uh, Isaiah 8 and 20 tell you, man? Say, uh, if they speak not, if he speak not according to this word, right. there's no light in them, man. Right. All right, yeah, we go, we correct what needs to be corrected through the spirit. Why? Because we end up setting in the defense of the gospel, man, as uh, Apostle Paul was, man. All right, but then we don't get caught up in what you got, man. All the little disputes and all the other madness and the bait and trying to. Man, we we not about all that, man. We just gonna push the truth, man, and distance ourselves from the madness, man. All right, to stay in the spirit, man. So if you go out, we, it's our it's our duty, it's the commandment to reprove and rebuke where you going off on the doctrine. And again, like the scriptures say, that's our heritage. Man. So it's our job to correct you if you going off. Now, whether or not you take the correction, that's on you. Okay? So at the end of the day, hey, it's out of our hands. But the blood is off our hands. That's what we're trying to do, man. Keep the blood off our hands. You going off on the walk of the beast. The microchip is the walk of the beast. If you take that chip, you are doomed, man. Anybody teaching the contrary to that, you lead people astray, man. And now, they gonna die, and their blood is required at your hands, man. Their blood is on your hands, man, for teaching the wrong thing. That's how serious it is, man. It's not a gangbang thing, man, but we going around screaming on each other. That's carnal. Right. We telling you, hey, man, what you teaching ain't right. This is the correct understanding. Now, whether they take it or not, that's, that's up to the heavenly father, man. But you can't say you wouldn't mourn. Right. Yeah, and look, bro, this is what your house child told us what to do, man. All right, we're read what the Lord told us what to do. Right. Against those who hate us or have the ill will towards us, man. Right. Listen, bro, this is Matthew chapter 5, and verse, I started verse 43, it says, You have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemies. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Woo! Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Uh. That ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven no. for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good oh. and send it rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you what reward have ye? That's it. Do not even the public is the same? Right. And if you salute your brethren only what do ye more than others? That's right. Do not even in heaven is perfect, That's man. It. So for those of the guys who have and have ill will towards us, man, because those guys I should be are considered our enemies, man. Because they're not in tune with us. But we don't have no hatred toward them men, man. Then how much I say pray for them men? Don't have no ill will toward them because guess what? The blood gonna be up on their heads, man. Because we desire them guys repent and believe the gospel, man. Yeah. That's what it's about, believing in the gospel, yes. truly following your Howard shot, man. Y'all yes. talking about the mark of the beast is a gun, but y'all at the gun range, man. You said the mark of the beast is a gun, taking them arms, Esau's gun, but y'all at the gun range with a gun, man. Right. That means you got the mark of the beast, bro. Yeah. According to your own doctrine. Exactly. 
That is simple, bro. But y'all guys probably be these top scholars, man. If you're not under the journey of hunter, man, you're not in the Woo! truth, man. That is blasphemy, that's bro. Proud, bro. That's blasphemy, man. That's high pride, bro. That means that, mean that this man has control of the Holy Spirit to dictate to who he wanted to have it, man. As if, as if he's in the state of your shall earth, man. That, that, that's what he's saying. He's saying that I'm in the state of your house, y'all. I dictate the Holy Spirit and give it to who I want to give it to. That's crazy, man. That's blasphemy, dog. You know? It, it ain't nothing left but uh, carnality with them Jakes, man, because they're not being fed the, 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 the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. They're not being fed the 100% truth, man. You know, so that's why them guys are left to be uh, left to be carnal, man. You know? And, and the, the, the most signs are exposing, you know what I'm saying, you, you different uh, camps out there, man, for your your false doctrine, man. You know? Do this for rock, brother? Yeah. Right, right, right. It's just, it's just a get along. Get, get along gang, man. Okay? It's just like Jake when he was young, man. He knew he wasn't ready to play uh, Pop Warner, man. He just wanted the damn jersey, man, and take his picture, man, <laughs> and get a trophy so he could put it on the, on the fireplace, man. And then he just want a, 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 a fancy garment and a door knocker, man, and say, I'm I'm I guess you can't. I'm right. and, and, and that, man. That don't, man, that, that ain't wrong. You don't, man. <laughs> That's what you trust in? That's where you, that's where you, that's what you trust in. How about you to be okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your woman ain't even supposed to speak, man. Oh. <laughs> right, it's just a, a bunch of gimmicks, man. Right, man. You know, like the camps that be uh, rapping and all that stuff, man. Right, that just man. get Jake in the world to, to uh, uh, come into your, uh, uh, into your, into your, uh, into your ministry, man, because Bring he see funds. you. Right, right, right. He see you. He see you rapping and singing and shit. So he like, yeah, I like the rap. That you have. I want to be in a video. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You know, he, that's what Jake right. seeing, man. He seeing you do that that Nigga foolish shit. shit. So he want to do that shit, man. You know. But when when you come into the truth, man, you supposed to come because of the truth, man. All right, because of the the, the breakdowns, man. All right, because of prophecy, man. You know, you 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 receive that that spirit, man. You become awakened, man. All right. Then, Right, right, the comforter, man. You know, we, we ain't coming to the truth because of, 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 of garments, all right, or like the scriptures say, the goodly ring, all right, or because of a, 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 a remix, all right, a G-mix, all right, an Israelite a, a, a remix to a song or some shit, man. Now, that's not why we came into the truth, man. You know? Yeah. The Sirach, chapter 4, verse 27. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, Woo! neither accept the person of the mighty. Right, man, and that, that's what that's what's going on in, 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 in the okay, ISDK, I, man. All right, a bunch of a bunch of foolishness, man. All right, you didn't already uh, uh, heard about your, your leader telling you to perform, uh, right? That you can perform uh, uh, anal sex, okay? That's a that's a foolish statement, man. All right, that's that's sodomy, man. That, that's clearly against the scriptures, man, and against the Most High Power, man. All right. And then you got you you're going against uh, 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 John the Baptist, man, saying that he wasn't he wasn't a, a man of the Lord, saying he wasn't in the truth. Okay, that's strike two, man. All right, it's multiple strikes on, on you on, no, you, on that right, camp, though. Right, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just that. You know what I'm saying? It's multiple. It's multiple strikes, man. Right, bro. You know. Hey, but any man claiming that he upright, man, and up y'all watching our shot, talking about sodomy, bro, and ain't nobody said that, man. All you niggas is gone, man. All y'all is gone. Hopefully, man. And they want to do it. Yeah. What they want to do? That's why ain't nobody. Woo! Yeah. That's, that. That's it. Hey, that's, like, that's what I hey, may the most I have mercy. <laughs> no. Hey, man. Okay, we've got some brothers that's over there, like not know that shit ain't right. But you better get away from them cats, man. Right, right. Okay. Hey, you better get away from cats, man. I ain't think come to come to great mills. Right. Y'all, y'all, y'all just caught up and don't want to don't wanna leave the boys' club, man. Cause it was weak, man. Okay. Just some frail little kids, man, standing behind a Monica and a name, man. The Most High not worried about that, man. That's not of the spirit of the Most High. That's of a spirit, but not the spirit, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. You niggas gonna learn the hard way, man. Right. Mr. Rock 427 again. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man. Right. Neither accept the person of the mighty. Right. right. Of the mighty, man. Then the scriptures say that the, the, the Most High didn't choose the, the, the mighty or the noble. Okay, but that's what you got in in, in, in that camp, man. All right, uh, you got to run. You got to do a, a physical uh, exercise or some shit to come into the camp. Okay, 
go ahead, go ahead. Go on, go on, go on. That's they, that's they, they pushing, man. You know, the most high ain't dealing with the with the with the mighty, man. All right? Dealing with the, with the men coming in, in humbleness and meekness, man. The ones that, that he chose and, and appointed, man. Okay? You had you had mighty men in the, in the scriptures, man. All right? You had many, you had a multitude of mighty men in the scriptures, man. Did that mean that they were righteous, man? Okay? Did that mean that they were honorable men? Okay, no, they didn't, man. You had men that was under King David. All right, scripture go into it in the book of Chronicles and go into the mighty man of King David, man. All right, and, and, and half of them was wicked. All right, they was wicked. They was doing all kind of uh, debauchery shit, man. Okay, they ain't got nothing to do with, with, with this truth. Ain't got nothing to do with might, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes in the scripture, chapter 10. And starting at verse 12, it says, The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow him, swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous uh, madness. And that's what you're witnessing, man. Uh, a fool's words is going to swallow him up, man, because he's getting caught up in all these vain things that he pushing, man. All these things is not uh, uh, geared towards edification, man. So it's going to consume them, man. All right, because they're not dealing with the Holy Spirit, man. All right, well, I'll say the other one, the, the Holy Spirit is not dealing with them, man. Therefore, they get caught up in their own words, which is all uh, uh, fool, uh, foolish things, man. Okay, we finish it out. It says a fool also is full of words. Amen. It says, a fool also is full of words. A man can, cannot tell, uh, cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him who can tell him. The labor of the foolish will weary it, every one of them, man. And that's the point I was getting to, man. All right, these, these, these uh, men that's not uh, uh, operating in the Holy Spirit, man, and dealing with all this foolish uh, shit, man. All these gimmicks, all these games, man. They gonna get, to, they gonna weary themselves out, man. All right, because they don't have the, uh, the they gonna, uh, they don't have the spiritual endurance. All right, to continue going on, man. All right, so uh, I'll get it more with it in a second. But there's a scripture in the Apocrypha that says, that, uh, if you uh, fall in the day of adversity, speaking of uh, roughly paraphrasing, then your strength was weak, man. All right, and that's what we dealing with. You dealing with men who have to rely on gimmicks and all these different. Uh, uh, games and shit man because they not operating in uh through the spirit man they don't have no oil they don't have the full breath man all right and so that's why they got to rely on all these different things to gain uh approval in the eyes of men versus fighting to approve uh, uh appease the heavenly father man right the scripture quoted is actually inside of proverbs but when it did it for you uh cut, cut. this proverbs 24 verse 10 if thou faint in the day of adversity cut, thy strength is small yeah you know so this is the brother said man if you faint in the day of adversity, which adversity is coming up on us all, man, it's called Jacob's trouble. Right. If you fell in that time, that means that your faith wasn't truly strong, man. That means that, that, mean that you truly wasn't taking heed to the gospel and doing what you had to do, man, okay? Because a lot of our people about to find out, right? Those know the Israelites and don't know that this is for real, man. Yeah. Right. And that, and that the Heavenly Father can truly bring judgment upon Jacob and the whole world, man. This is a final act, bro. So, so the Heavenly Father can let loose everything upon the people, man. Because after this is our kingdom, bro, you right. know? But he's gonna punish his people once again, man. Because Jake is wicked as hell, man. Both in the truth, so-called and out of the truth, yeah. man. Jake is not right, bro. Look, bro, our Lord Yahweh Shai told us to have a pure heart, man. Okay? Guys don't have a pure heart, man. Guys truly, truly don't believe in the, in the scriptures, man. Right. And it shows through their actions. in these camps, and even these, these uh, uh Holy House uh, churches. House preachers, all right, and you, you false teachers in, in Israel. Okay, you're not even preparing your 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 uh, your, your your flock for uh, adversity, man. You know, scriptures say uh, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. You 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 guys aren't even teaching your your, uh, your 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 students that, man. All right, you ain't teaching them that you're gonna catch hell. All right, yeah. that that in order to to, to enter into the kingdom of heaven, that you gonna have to you have to go through it, man. Yeah. All right. If you look up, bro, uh, the Apostle Hodges did a video on if you if you if you don't receive the mark of the beast, you gonna you can be homeless, man. Which you are gonna you gonna be homeless, bro. You know you ain't gonna be able to go go buy stuff. You ain't gonna be able to pay rent. All right, with cash. All right, or none of that. You know. 
And even with, with uh, uh, like they talk about speaking of uh, buying silver and gold and stuff, uh, and that day you, you might not be able to use that stuff, man. All right, so you're gonna have to be out there, you know what I'm saying, in the elements, man, you know? And if you a man of the, the elect, the most high gonna have your back uh, uh, regardless, man, of what situation you go through, man, all right? But you're supposed to be teaching that, man. You're supposed to be teaching that we're gonna go through adversity, man. All of our, all of our forefathers went through adversity, okay? All of the, the, the disciples went through uh, adversity, man. Apostle Paul always talk about the, the trials that he went through, man, okay? Hold on. Who's the first? Jeremiah. I wanted that first. Oh, no. Oh, no. He had a copy of Jeremiah 23. It's like this is a, a Jeremiah, chapter 23, starting at verse 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, say Yahweh. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. He has scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you Woo! the evil of your doing, right. say Yahweh. Right. So judgment is coming upon the false pastors right. and so-called leaders of Israel, man. Yep. You guys are doing a terrible job, man. Terrible. A terrible, terrible job terrible. of leading the people, man. God. Y'all not truly giving it to them the full understanding of Yahweh, child Lord, man. It's about your Howard shot, man. That's what it's about, bro. Right. And, and y'all don't glorify him, or neither do you know him. And that's why you teaching all this madness and doing all these gimmicks and playing all these games, man. Drive by scoffings. That's not a your Howard shot, Lord, man. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. Going, going to brothers' campsite, screaming at them. Right. You know, right, right. with a microphone. Right. This, 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 this is our SUBK corner right, now. This is our corner. But y'all so dumb. I don't know your Howard shot said. When they persecute you in one city, right. they go to the other. That's right. it. So them brother move and then what your how I said to do, man. Y'all did the evil of what your how I said that y'all won't do, bro. Persecuting brothers, man. Right. I mean, I mean, but look, y'all just y'all just doing too much, man. Right. Okay. <laughs> and the heavenly father get ready to bring down the judgment upon Israel. He said, he said, he said look, he's gonna start with his our uh, house first, man. Right, that's right. So that's including all of us, bro. That's right. Those who ain't right, the heavenly father gonna get you, man. Those who Ooh. are following the right path. You're gonna be protected by the angels, man. God. That's promised in the Holy Scriptures, man. God. You know? If thou can tell. Okay, not the snake. Right, bro. Right, so you want the first Corinthians read here, brother? Yeah. 4 and 12, right? This first Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12, it says, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna start at uh, 10, brother. I'm okay. sorry, 10. It says, We are fools for your house shot's sake. Right. But ye are wise in your house shot. Right. We are weak, but ye are strong. Right. Ye are honorable. But we are despised. Woo! Even up to this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and labor, working with our hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Mm. Being defamed, we entreat. Mm. We are made as the fifth of the world. Right, Great Millstone is the worst camp. Right. Of all the, the worst thing on the yeah. world, the place of the earth. Yeah. Now, why would Eric, now, why would all the other camps, other, other Israelite camps agree on one about that, man? That we the worst of all the Israelites come man? Right. right. Come on, brother. Are you kidding me? We the we pedophile rapists, no, I, homeless bombs. <laughs> we can't be. Because first of all, if we was rapists and pedophiles, we'd be under the penitentiary. <laughs> we are the most watched whether any Israelite, anybody right. calling themselves an Israelite, you numero uno on the blacklist. Right. Okay? Uh -huh. Right. So we was doing all the things that y'all falsely accusing us of. Man, we'd be walking we'll be on death row publicly. And you niggas would be in the crowd now, right. nigga. Y'all would be in Salakia. Y'all would be in the crowd cheering. Oh, of course. Right. Just like they did your whole show. Just like they did the Lord. Y'all them same guys. See? Man. Yeah, hey, hey, man, it's amazing. Like this like this is them come and come and come into unison, bro. And and agree as a whole that great millstone is a problem of the Israelite community. Right. So called, man. But that's fine. Bro, because y'all fulfilling the Holy Scripture. That's right. Let that's us right. know that we are those that's men. Right. That's right, Doc. That's, that's, right. that's how y'all do it. That's Give right, bro. Every time I hear niggas talk about, you know what I'm saying, the apostles and the men of Great Millstone <laughs> saying all this crazy stuff about us, man, that give me hope, bro. God. Of being up there, like, oh, truly want to listen to the apostles because I know them men not doing that, bro. God. These are righteous men of the Lord, man. There is no way that, that them men could be doing all that wickedness but then bringing all this truth, man. Started grinding out for your house by shooting out shot, but they doing that behind the scenes, man. Right. Come on, bro. Madness. Madness. Hey, bro. 
and I thought it was in what the brother said. You gonna will do what for that brother tonight when you get home? Pray for him. I want to bring this out real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 25 and 21. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. So you getting coals to eat on your head, bro, without even knowing it spiritually. Because even though y'all cuss us, talk bad about us, we pray for y'all, man. Pray that you repent. Pray the most high have mercy on you. That's one thing y'all can never say y'all ever done for us, man. In Matthew chapter 5 and verse 11, blessed are ye when men shall revile you That's right. and persecute you right. and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely Ooh. for my sake. That's and that's the, uh, the uh, Yahweh Shah speaking, man. All right, we, we we receiving all this, man. Even Paul said, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, man. Right. All right, we endure all this shit, man, because we know that y'all just envious of the spirit, man. All right? They can't get the understanding. They don't want to get an order. So now you the enemy because you doing what's right, man. All right? So now we're going to make up things about you. We're going to come up with uh, something to uh, 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 say against you, man. That's the same thing you did to Yahweh Shai. What do we represent the body of Yahweh Shai? So you're doing the same thing again, man. Right. Everything is just rolling right back into uh, uh, again, man. Right. All right? right. First Corinthians 4 and verse uh, 13 again, it says, Being the fame, we entreat. The fame. Right. <laughs> We are made as the filth of the world Woo! and are the offscoring of all things until this day. Behind what? False accusations, Thanks man. So. Behind what? <laughs> all these things, what, where's the proof, man? Uh, you know, what, where's the proof, man? Okay? Man. We, we, but we laugh at that, man. Because like the brother said, y'all shoot that to try to, you know, get up on us. We rejoice. The brother just read the scripture, bro. We rejoice in these things, man, because it's scriptural. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Hey, but it's all about enduring, man. All things, man. Enduring the things of this world and even enduring things within Israel, man. Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do minor things of the flesh. That's right. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Right, the scripture say um, the flesh, they that are of the flesh mind the things of the flesh, man. You know, so that's why they, they focus on that, that carnality, man. Right. All right, doing call outs, all right. Uh, 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 investing in, 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 in weapons and, 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 and uh, uh, training and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and pushing and pushing stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But what do the what do the apostles and elders of Great Millstone push out, man? Nothing but but lessons, man. All right, nothing but but prophecies and, and breakdowns and edification, man. Okay, that's that's what this truth is all about, man. Edifying, man. Okay, edifying the edifying the brothers, man. Okay, that's being being in the spirit, man. All right, not going to to the goddamn gun range or, or having goddamn fashion shows, man. Okay. Yeah. Verse six, right. for to be quarterly living, living. Okay, y'all watch all these TV shows about uh, zombies and shit, uh, 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 eating people and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what these people are, man. Spiritually, man, they they just zombies, man. All right, walking around in the goddamn dead zone, man. All right, fulfilling the, the fulfilling the fish, man. All right. Verse six, for to be quarterly minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life. And peace. Right. To be spiritually minded of life and peace. What that mean, man? Right. To be about the Holy Scriptures, man. Right, right, right. And, and uh, uh, this a brother calls for a precept, so I'm gonna get it real fast. This John 6 and 63, it says, it is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. Right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right. So so it's the obedience unto the gospel. That help us live and thrive, man. That helps us to be spiritual towards the corner flesh, man. This is not a thing about who is the toughest of the strongest in the flesh, man. This is spiritual battle, dog. Everything is spiritual, man. Right?
say, well, I'll say, I'll say, uh, you know, a start to the spirit, you know. If you're not being obedient to the gospel, man, you're not being spiritual, dog. Right, you know. Right, right. This is about serving me at Howard Shop, man. This is this is our duties as as his servants, man. Right. All right. As him the father uh, adopted son, you know. Right. Yeah. How do right. we How do we serve your Howard Shop by following these scriptures? If it ain't in the scriptures, then it don't it don't count. Right. You know, you can't just do your own thing. Well, you can do your own thing, but right. the, the end results ain't going to turn out good for you. Right. You know, right. it's profane. You got to do it in point of It's profane. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, you got you to gotta do what the scriptures say to do to the best of your ability. You see? And we ought to, you know, we had to check ourselves at different times and uh, uh, meta or think and say, well, is this scriptural what I'm doing? Or what I'm thinking, you know? Yeah. Right, right. Is it of the spirit, man? Because you know if things of the spirit or not, but you know it at that moment, man. If am I being carnal and emotional, right. or am I truly being obedient to what the gospel tells me for the do, bro? We right. know it, man. Because we've been reading these scriptures, right. studying, right. right? We know what it says, man. So when you in those different moments, bro, right. you know right. Right. when right. things right. are not right, when things are right, man. Right. You know? But I'm sorry, bro. Like, no, I would say, saying, but it's up you to make the right decision, man. Right, right. hopefully through the Holy Spirit, you know. Right, because the word is was planted in us through hearing the hearing the hearing the word. Right, the scriptures say faith coming by hearing. Right, and that seed, which is the word, is supposed to grow in our mind. You know, this word we supposed to be a, like Yahweh child. You know, right. like the scriptures say in John, uh, the first chapter, that the word became flesh and blood and, and dwelt among us. We supposed to be walking <laughs> manifestation of the scriptures too. We see we uh we hope and believe we are the body of Yahweh Shah. So we supposed to we striving to uh, oh Ephesians the fourth chapter they talk about measuring up right. to his stature. We trying to measure up to Yahweh Shah. See? So the word supposed to be in us. In our mind, man, you know. You got it, y'all got it. Back in Romans 8 and 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, right? For it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. Right. So, oh, yeah. so then, oh, no, no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The say because the carnal mind is enmity against the, the Most High, man. Okay, because the, the carnal mind don't want to be uh, subject to the Most High, man. It don't want to be subject to the Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. All right, then the corner of mind gonna be like, man, I don't want to go on the highways and byways. Man, I want to stay in the house. I want to, I want to play the game. Hey, I want to go to the club. Shit, well, All right, why well, I gotta get an edge up? Right, right, right. What edge up gonna do? Right, right. I want to get the chin strap. Okay, I don't yeah. want to grow no beard out, man. Them hoes don't like that beard, man. Right. They want to see what the, what the fresh, the fresh round up. Okay, that's that, that's that corner of mind, man. You know, and, and, and if you first commit to the truth, man, you, 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 uh, uh, the scriptures will come out. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta, you gotta. Uh, Grow out your beard, okay. You gotta stop lining up. You know, you get cut. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, be, you, you, you and, and getting your, getting your hair a damn Egyptian. All right, getting the goddamn alcohol and all that. That bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's black culture, though. You know, Jake is strong in, in black culture, man. All right, and, and it's a miracle. You know what I'm saying? For us to, to get out of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's some, that's some heavy wine, bro. You know right. that, 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 uh, that, that barbershop shit. You know what I'm saying? All that, that nigga shit, man. You know. But, the, but like the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying, we was awakened up out of that, man. All right, we was quickened, man. We was made alive by the word, man. You know, and, and, and although you get cut, you know what I'm saying, that, hey, man, the, the spirit takes over, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you're not living in the flesh no more, man. You know? Right, and I remember, man, you know, when I heard that, bro, and I like, first first started off like not trying to get a haircut, a liner, bro, I almost cried in the mirror, bro. Because, 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 because of how my hairline looked, bro. I almost fucking cried, bro. Like, real talk. Because, to me, I was looking crazy and, and uh, ugly, bro. Uh -huh. Because I wasn't used to not getting no edge or no line up. I almost cried in the mirror, bro. You wanted to stay fly like right. uh, Juicy J, you know? Right. I wanted that, you know what I'm saying, that uh, a boost and fade, man. Like, man, you want right. to be a man. Hold right. on, man. I wanted to keep that, you know, so-called uh, nappy cut boost <laughs> right, right with the line up. Yeah. Because that, because that's all I knew for 19 years of my life for, I found out that I was an Israelite, man. Right. Was, was that so-called cute look, man. Man, I, I remember that, bro, vividly, bro. I almost cried in the mirror, bro. 
But then I went, you know what I'm saying, sat down, you know. <laughs> like, bro, you know, look, look, bro, forget about it, bro. D look, this is what you commit yourself to, then do it, man. Right, bro. So it was to hell with it, you know, so with a line up, bro, and do what the most I say do, bro. Right. Yeah, some, but look, see, something simple as a, a line up right. can't overthrow Jake Faith, man. Right. Right. Really? That's right. Jeez, a line up, right. a tape of faith, a nigga know a Hell no. Nah. What? Right, right, right. A dreadlocks, man. Because they got a thousand Instagram pictures, you know, you got right. pretty girls. You know, and, and look, that woman, she looking for that line up. Mm, she, 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 look, she watch, she watch the CEO, <laughs> right? She looking for, you know, your beer, all that, bro. Right. Because they're carnal, right. you know? But this thing is about being obedient to the gospel, man. You know, so you right. got it, brother. Right, right. you she ain't gonna be the ladies, man. Right, yeah. And then, like, you're not gonna be the ladies, man, no more. You know, I mean, and the most I look out for, you right. know, and, right. you know, so and so, proverbial bones, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, I had a, a few women, really whores, <laughs> tell me, uh, you just can't get a line up, you can't just get your, you know, I don't even grow a beard, but they wanted me to line up the, uh, a Stand. little mustache. See? <laughs> Shit, I lost out, I lost out. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that too. They got a goddamn wig on their head. Right, like, we're a wig. Kentucky Fried Shit. Right. They want you to have a line up. Make the fuck out of here, man. Right, right bro. Right, that's right. the Jake's called Natalie, man. You get a uh, haircut or something. Jake, Jake be constantly asking you, why you don't hinge it up, man? Right. Right. Bro, I don't do that shit, bro. Jake yeah. steady hinging on that shit, bro. Right. 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 about what another man look like. Yeah, I, I, look, you go to another man. Hey, man, you got to line this up. Man. You need to let your nuts stop. <laughs> man, up, man. Thank you, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 8. So then... They that are in the flesh cannot please your house. Right, so the, the men that are, that are in the flesh, okay, that are not in the spirit, ain't operating as a, as a man of the Lord, they can't please the most high, man. You know, they can't please the most high, man. They're not willing to, to uh, uh, put their flesh to the side, man. They can't even rule over their own flesh, okay? So they, 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 are, no, they are of no use to the most high, man. All right, they ain't, they ain't disciplined. Okay, they not they not uh, 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 they not humble and they not they not gonna submit to the will of the Most High, man. You know, cause Scripture go into uh, uh, if you come into this thing, you, you gotta submit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why when Jake come out here and they, they be talking and shit and running their mouth, bro, that's not that's not coming in humility and and in, and in submission, man. You know, the Most High want men that's gonna be disciplined and that's gonna submit, bro. And if you corner, you're not gonna do that, man. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Verse nine. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh will dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Mashiach, he is none of his. Right. So if you if you're not dealing in the spirit, you are none of the of the Most High, man. Okay. You see, Jake. You know what I'm saying? Jake don't. Uh, Jake continue to be a, a, a nigga, man. You know, even though he come into this thing, he still continue. And the ways of being a nigga continue to be carnal, okay? It's gonna be proven that you ain't a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, all right? Being told a uh, certain little, little trivial stuff, man. You know, you're gonna be seen to be, uh, you're gonna be sought out to, I mean, you're gonna be sought, you're gonna be seen to not be a, a man of the Lord, man. You know? Right, you got guys in Israel with pony tails, dreadlocks all the way down their backs, man. To my, to my, uh, they take a Nazarite vow. But every year he got the same hair. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, you supposed to cut that out, well. All that off. Everything yeah. supposed to go. But every year, Jake find an excuse to make sure that you got them dreadlocks twisted up, you got that ponytail. But that curly hair showing, man. God not being obedient to the gospel, man. They just doing what they want to do. And that's why Jake go off and do their own thing so that they can start their own little, you know, camps so that so that they can do what their flesh, you know, you know, you know, you know, I want to do, man. And that's fine, bro. But you guys not in your house shot completely, man. Y'all half-assing me, bro. Yeah, I have that. Right, I got a piece up for you real fast, brother. This is Galatians chapter 6, starting at verse 7. Be not deceived, yet how is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Right. And what's that corruption? Death. Yeah. Judgment from the heavenly father. Right? It says, but he that saw it to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting mm. man so it's about sowing in the inner man bro yeah this is what pleased the most high man 
it's evident that it's, uh, hey, it's evident that we can't please the heavenly father through the flesh man that's right and look our lawyer how said what he said that the most high is the spirit and they that worship him are worshiping what that's in right. spirit and truth that's man. right huh? so that's the only how that we have to please the father man it, it, look, it is through faith in your house shot being obedient to what's written man right it says verse 9 and let us not be weary and well doing right don't get tired of doing the right thing man right man i got man man i got man i got a line this week bro Man, look, I mean, look, I'm going out this weekend, bro. I ain't going to camp, bro. Man, I'm tired, man. Drake ain't missing it. I'm taking my wife on a vacation. Right. You been, look. <laughs> right. That's you being weary, man. Because because you're worrying about things in the world and not things of the spirit, man. And, you know, it happened, bro, you know, because we are men. You know, especially if you're young in the faith. Oh, man, like, like, hey, hey, if you're young, bro, but them going to be pulling at you hard, Flip. Right. Because you're fresh out the world, Jack. Right. So, so, you got to pray, man. You gotta pray, you gotta fight, you know? So it says, and let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap. And uh it's like it says, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So in due season, when our Lord Yahweh shall come, we're gonna reap what? Everlasting life, man. The kingdom of heaven, dominion, a brand new body, and every other thing that, that the most high has prepared for his children. So, if you have the right mindset, man, that's continuing to soar in the spirit. God, you know, right. and uh, and uh, you know that really take place. Like, well, man can't, uh, you know, diligently walk in in the, in the faith is because they can't let the world go. Right. That's that uh, the parable of the sword. You know, we talk about. Uh, matter of fact, can you uh, get uh, Matthew thirteen? Okay. And uh. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get straight to it. Okay. It's so, uh Matthew. It's uh Matthew chapter 13, starting at verse uh, 18. Okay. It says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sword. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he that received seed by the wayside. But Go ahead, bro. it says, but he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heard the word, and anon would draw receive it. Yet had he not root in himself, but do it for a while. Yeah, he didn't do it for a while, but it's something happening. The scripture gonna explain. For when yeah. tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. Mm. Right, so you got some guys that just catching the hell and they tired of catching hell. You got, we, we uh, heard of instances of, of men that said, you know, uh, Jim is destroyed, destroyed, was destroying my life. Right. You know, that, and they're catching that hell, you know? And they say, you know, fuck this, I'm going back to the world. That's what uh, they were saying in first Maccabees. That's all right. You know? So let us go make a covenant with the heathen. All right? So Jacob want to go back into the world so that they can uh, uh, pretty much have liberty to do what the hell they want to do. You know? And not really be up under the discipline of the other scriptures. Right. That's you exactly what it is. Uh, a quick precept. Yeah, yeah. This is um, the second Timothy chapter 3 starting in verse Verse 10, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, with, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, which persecution I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh shall our Lord shall suffer persecution. Great millstone to destroy your life, man. It was about you being obedient to your howard shot. And Paul said, if you live God in your howard shot, you're going to suffer the persecution. That's a part of serving him. He said that. Yeah. Right. And uh, uh, a lot of that persecution is, it comes uh, by default of simply just withdrawing yourself right. from the world. Persecution is coming. <laughs> coming. You better believe it. <laughs> you know? You better believe it. Come. So back in Matthew 13, in yeah. verse um. Verse 22 now, he also that received seed among the thorns, mm -hmm. as he that heard the word, 
and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. Right, and I want to focus on that point where it say that the cares of the world. You got some Jake that just can't let the world go. You know what I'm saying? They end up falling, uh, falling out. You know what I'm saying? Gotta let it go. Yeah. Or, or die. Right, or know. die, right. Ain't no way to please both, man. Right. There's no way. Can't right. do it, man. That was pretty good. Somebody brought up that first, uh, that second Timothy already? Second Timothy one. Uh, two and four. Two and four count. I'm holding it. About 13? We about right And uh, 18 on down. Right, this is verse 23, it says, But he that receiveth seed into the good ground, mm. as he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, mm. which also bear fruit, and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Mm. And we pray to be of that good ground, man. God. All right, all right, that the word has taken root in, man. God. And hope to teach the Lord's elect to bring them back to Yahweh Shah. I mean, Yahweh Shah said, I came to save that which was lost, man. That's right. And that's talking about his elect men. All right, well, uh, you know, are they elect as a whole? Right, right. But a uh, star with star with the teachers, man. Right, right. Because yeah. those men are going to be raised up to come. Look, he said, look, he said, uh, the uh, harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Right. So, so it's about raising up Yahweh Shah's laborers to bring in the full harvest, man. The elect, you know. So this is why brothers out here, you know, are for the apostles on down, man. Right. Because the way you build a uh, nation, you gotta, you gotta gather the leaders, leaders of the nation. Uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, the scripture show a good example of that during the time we was uh, building, the, rebuilding the temple during the time of uh, uh, Nehemiah. Uh, what's the mother name? Uh, Ezra. Then. Ezra. Right. You know, the I think uh, the Ruben. Ruben. Right. See? Yeah, y'all got whatever y'all got. Hey, just real quick, I wanted to say, man, and a, a, a good indicator to show that you are a part of that good ground, or you operating in the spirit, man, is your surroundings gonna change, man. God. All right, the same God. things that you was doing and into gonna switch up, and God. the people that you was associated with, uh, they ain't gonna wanna be around you no more because of that righteous spirit that you putting off, man. All right, the wicked ain't, they ain't, you ain't that same nigga no more, so they ain't comfortable around you. They don't want their ears, even if you don't come at them, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Every time, but they can get mad because you won't eat pork. Right. Let's see you doing righteous, and man, I hear this nigga go again. Man, man, quick testimony, bro. You know, you know, this ain't even saying this in no pride, man. It's really a shameful thing, but I'm gonna give you a testimony with the brother just after you're saying, man. When I was in the world, my, my nickname was Burn Once. It meant for something, it had nothing to do with smoking, but niggas just associated with that, man. They got a big burn, big burn, burn one. So when I came into the truth, there wasn't no more blowing the grass, man. I was still frequenting, you know, fucking with niggas. I don't do it no more, but this was my first smoking. I was always the dude with the, I had it. So when they seen me, they said I was immediately trying to roll up. I just came in there chilling. Niggas sitting around looking at me. Then they fired, they fired it up. I walked out the room. Niggas came to me, I said, nah, but I ain't blowing no more. He looked at me, he walked in the other room, and I can hear him in the other room. Man, that nigga, we can't call that nigga burn. He don't even smoke no more, man. Ooh. We can't, can't call that nigga that. Oh, shit. Right. He offended. Oh. <laughs> I was like, damn. I said, that's the most I can get the fuck up out of here, man. And I never fuck with the niggas ever again, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother say, you got to change your surroundings. Niggas ain't going to fuck with you no more. You right. shouldn't want to fuck with them no more, right, man. Because right, right. you can see how 50 them niggas is, man. Right. OK? And we all alpha males up here, man. We was the leaders of the pack in our little crews and shit, man. So what we did, they did, man. So once you see them niggas in South Fifty, you the chief nigga. Right. Shame should come on you, man. Shame should come on you, man. Remember that that, that cartoon character in uh Charlie Brown, what's that? Pig pen? Everywhere he walked a little cloud of dirt, man. That's how you niggas is. Niggas are filthy, man. You got wickedness surrounding you, man. Everything you do, every move you make, everything caught right. your fucking mouth, right. man. Every thought is fucking wickedness, man. But when you're about a, around a bunch of niggas, it's okay, it's cool. Oh, that boy ain't bad, that boy ain't mad. Niggas have heard all that shit before, man. Right. I just mean you the biggest nigga around, man. Yeah. The most hard not dealing with that, man. Right. And you and you putting yourself in uh temptation way. Right. Right, you know? right man. Yeah. Right, hey bro. Just another. I dealt with the music and shit, man, before I came into the world, man. You know, I ain't finna go into no, no shit, but 
I was there with the rap a lot. I was there with the Sousa house. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Before I came to the truth. What I said? Hey, bam. I was into the music, man. I was, I was there, man. I sat with the G that the G dashes. Okay? The CEOs of Swiss House. I sat with the D-Rex, man. Okay? I was into that shit, man. Cause I was going, that was my thing. You know what I'm saying? Came into the truth, let that shit go. When I came to the truth, man, I met all my idols, man. The N.O. Joes, you know what I'm saying? The Pimp C's, the producer shit, man. But I had to make a decision, like if I go fuck with them niggas, right. shit, I put myself in harm's way, man. Right. And that's what I love to do in the world, man. Shit, I had to make a fucking decision, man. Man the fuck up, man. Right. Make a fucking decision, man. Right. Okay, or not. You know, you ain't doing it for me. Right. I'm trying to work out my own salvation, man, but out of love, telling my brothers, man, hey, man, the fuck up, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you, man, the, uh, the, 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 uh, a man that worth and change with not with the affairs of this world, man. Right, right, We're in a spiritual right, fucking battle, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, fall off, bro. Yeah, yeah man. And, and look, bro, <laughs> to hell with niggas in the world, bro. The most I gave you brothers to hang out with, bro. Come. You know, I look. I, Look, I like I, look, I like hanging out with this old brother. Uh, who right else can you talk to, man? <laughs> who else can you have a conversation with? Right, right. You can't talk to these fucking niggas, man. <laughs> that was like, you can't you can't talk. You can talk to niggas about bullshit, but when it comes to holy conversation and shit, you can't talk to no. You got to talk to y'all, man. Right, right, right. Even if you try to talk to a nigga, man, five minutes he'll disgust you, man. Cause ain't no foolishness gonna come out of goddamn mouth, man. Right. So, good. LA, the scriptures say use the word on abuse world. If a nigga got something for you, get him and get the hell on away from him, man. Get it and get the hell on away from it, man. Okay, go ahead, bro. Like, they got nigga breath. I don't even want to know what I'm saying, bro. We, me and you is different, man. I'm the prince of the power, man. Okay, rulership mentality, man. Go ahead, bro. Right. This Second Timothy chapter two, starting at verse. Whatever you want, bro. Okay, one. Oh, what, what did you say? Three? No, no, no. Okay. It says, that Therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach and Hawashiach, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Mm. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of the Hawashiach and Hawashiach. No man that worried himself with the affairs of this life that he okay. right. read that again I can yeah. go up as fast as man sure. and read that uh, time so that vibration you got there yeah. right the second Timothy 2 verse 4 no man that worried entangled himself with the affairs of this life you wanna know one of the, the biggest war or one of the biggest wars you gonna this with yourself right the right the flesh right. against right. the spirit Woo. Uh, with our uh, against ourselves, right? Then you go, you really uh, set yourself up for losing in the spirit by entangling yourself in the world. Because we're trying to conquer the flesh. You see, that's the goal, bro. Right. That's a beast, bro. That's a beast. Okay. Right. 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 It's a beast, man. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Just go, go, man. Man, look. Be real with yourself, man. Go home and look in the mirror, man. And examine that cat, man. Hey, who is that cat, man? Okay. Who is that cat? You really shouldn't recognize that cat. If you do, then you got some work to do, man. And I'm starting right. myself first. I do right. that shit, hey, bro, man. Look, man. You catch yourself, bro, you be like, fuck, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. so why you got to pray and fast, man. Right. right. Okay? You, you got to, man. Hey, man. The most hard not playing, man. You don't want to find yourself on the right side of the right. Things, man. Okay? But shit, you... Hey, man, you got to continuously work to find favor with the most high power because it ain't according to what you think. See, Jacob think, I can study. I know a hundred scriptures. Right. I'm good. That don't mean nothing to the most high, man. That's a small part of it, man. That's a small part of it, man. Okay? The scripture tell you even our righteousness is it's like a filthy rag, man, right. Right. to the most high power. What does he think he's doing? Right. Yeah, man, look, but the heavenly father is all about obedience, man. Right. Obedience until his Right. Because he gave us his son. So it's about you being obedient to your Hawashi and what he said, man. That's what we the father, man. God. Right. I love your Hawashi said what? I'm the way, the truth, and the light. Right. No man comes to the father but by me. So you got to follow that path, dog. Right. right. This is what pleases to the most high. That's the order now. So if right. you're not doing what your Hawashi said to do, then what are you doing in the truth, man? Fucking up. You're not praying, you're not fasting, you're not truly examining yourself every day, not taking counsel from brothers. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Brother tell you something, you don't listen to him. Right. He, he said, hey, that do what you want to do, dog. This, look, this is not about doing what you want to do, man. Right? This is about being obedient to what the gospel says, man. That's it, bro. You know? Yeah, Staying uh, stay close to these scriptures, man. Right. <laughs> Consistently and persistently staying close to these scriptures, man. Like, for real. So they looking for that comfort, man. Right, right. All the wrong places. Right. You find yourself right. at the uh, end of the week when you're about to hit camp. Now you finally just open up the scriptures and you're trying Woo. to go to the and look at, look at the word. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they don't study no video. Okay. Okay. You ain't got to speak that day. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, real quick, this uh, Proverbs 15 and 32. He that refuses instruction mm. despises his own soul. Woo! But he that heareth reproof geteth understanding. That's right. Fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Right. And before honor is humility. Mm. And that's what Jake is afraid of, the humility, man. They just want honor. They just want to be recognized and noticed, man. But hey, the honor is going to come from the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, man. Right. All right, we seeking to get that honor, get that crown physically placed on our head, man. All right, folks, well, we'll take some humility, man. You can laugh, scoff, do whatever the hell you want. You guaranteed for a missile, man. We got a chance of salvation. Well, I'm going to get mad at you for it. You dead. Right. Hey, but the scriptures give up that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? How was shot? Shit, to Apostle Taha. Right now, man. Man, if you ever got to be around Apostle Taha, man, Humble and weak, man. And that's the top man set up by the most high power on the face of this earth, man. Right, Humble right, and weak, man. Right. Okay? Con, brother. Con. Even the the, the uh the testimony the brothers gave earlier, we say he's gonna he's gonna uh, pray for get general Yahana, man. How, how humble and, 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 and how much humility and meekness is that, man? When all they done is trash the apostle hard name, man. And what did he say about uh uh coffee? He say, man, I ain't no rejoicing. He said, that's a sad thing. He said, that Bro. man had a family and shit, man. Hey, that that put me in check. Cause hey, we was the it, hey, bro, start with the apostles to ride on that nigga, man. Bro. Hey, man, it, it was said that when the coffee die, we was gonna drink yeah, and dance until his death, man. Right. That was the sentiment all through Israel. But then through the spirit, the apostles like, damn. You know, I feel I feel bad for right. the cat, and that and that hit me like a bucket of cold water. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And I was one of the main ones. Say, shit, when this nigga die, I'm drinking yeah, God, and I'm gonna do the Irish jig, bro. Shit, that that feeling of of, of, of sadness came in, man. Cause he's like, damn, man. You know, he died, he died without honor, man. You know, we got bigger fish to fry than to celebrate. Uh, right. I mean, it's gonna be all right when we get in the kingdom, man. With everybody, man. Uh, from uh, that's what they say, normal life. We're caught. Yeah, GLCC. Yeah, GLCC. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the captains, it's going to be all good in the kingdom, man. Right now, man, we got we to gotta fight on, man. We're going to just go disregard all that, that nigga shit, man, that's going on, man. It's time to find faith with the most high power, man. That ain't got your plan. God, God, bro. God, bro. Hey, bro. That's a beautiful thing, man. And you tell me the spirit don't look to the apostle to heart, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Right. Okay? It's a time and a season. Time, man. Time. Just say the scripture. Humbleness and meekness and humility, man. Let's read that scripture again. I can say it before. Honor comes what? Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Right. That's hey, man. That's the beginning of wisdom. Right. Go ahead, brother. But see, y'all don't feel the law if y'all don't know the Yahweh power, man. Right. Y'all don't, don't know it. And don't want to know it. Right. Because right. right. you want to remain comfortable. But guess what? Hey, man. Shit. Hey, you, there's no way that you can hide, man. All right. Go ahead. Because uh, how you get to know the, the Heavenly Father, it, it starts with, uh, really, you got to take heed to the, to the, his men. Right. To his mouthpiece. Right. To the prophet. Right. That's a set up according to his heart, man. Not just some rambling old prideful niggas that's trying to be a great orator, man. Look at me. Me, 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 me. I'm this. Right. Ain't about that, man. Now, Jay, 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 Jay want to be the man. Right. And, and, and captivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm foolish. I'm king slave. Right. <laughs> Yagadah, father for sure. And before honor is humility, man. Before honor is humility, man. Okay? That's why the apostle God has is a man of honor, man. The apostle of the law. 
Y'all uh, box our ground cloud. Uh, box our ground cloud. Uh, he's a man that got a man of full of humility, man. They show that example, man. Hey, man. They ain't nothing but slander the apostle to hard in every fake shape, form, or fashion, man. Okay? And ain't no guy I'll find the apostle to hard now, man. Go ahead, brother. Right. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, I love your house shot. He said, he said, be therefore merciful as your father which in heaven is merciful, it, man. man. If you can't show mercy towards nobody, then you're not of your house by shooting out a shot, man. So when the Apostle Hart came out and said what he said, that showed that, right. that, God, that this man is a merciful man. God. After all they said about this man, right, saying all kind of strangers thing about him, his family, his kids, everything, bro. The man turned around and said, I'm going to pray for you. You know, I feel sorry for you. Or this, that, and the third. I hope you wake up to faith. He said all these good things towards you, man. So. That showed me that this man is a pure man, God. and you are the wicked one. God, yeah. God because who name. right, God. hence his name, right, tall, right. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, brother. Hey, y'all guys, bring that out in Ezekiel thirty-three and eleven. Just a little bit further. I'm going into. Come, this is Ezekiel. Chapter 33 and verse 11. And say unto them, As I live, said the Lord Power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, mm. but that the wicked turn from his way and live. And that wicked is talking about Israelites. Israelites, right. Exactly. You know. It says, Turn ye from, from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Yeah, it is. Yeah, man, it's that simple, man. Right. Even though, like me and the brother were just talking, the Most High made him say, made Tazadaki right. say he was the comforter. Right. He made Judas Damn. Iscariot walk Woo. up and kiss the Lord. Woo! Right. Right. Woo. <laughs> Ain't that so? Right. Now figure that out. And that's why Yahushua <laughs> was in the spirit he was in, man. Right. He wasn't sitting there like, I'm about, man, I'm about. He knew this was part of it, man. And then what was that when, when Peter, when he uh smoked the ear off the man, he said, No, nah. he said, Hold on, man. He said, if this was my kingdom, my saints would fight, man. But this is part of the process to uh, uh for Israel to uh uh have a chance of salvation, man. This is what has to happen. Judas has to betray me, man. I have to be delivered up to the Romans to be crucified, man. All right, so I can be the ultimate sacrifice, man, to bring y'all under the fold, man. Right. And, and treated him as a brother right. up until, ain't up until all the way through, bro. Right. They were spiritual power. Look, bro, that sacrifice needed to be made. Right. It's just that Judas had to fulfill his role right. and do what he had to do so that it could happen, man. Because guess what? Judas going to be in the kingdom of heaven, man. God. Judas going to have everlasting life, a new body in the kingdom of heaven, God. man. Now, he's going to have shame for what he did. But all but look, that shame ain't gonna go away, man. Right. Cause we're gonna be living forever, dog. Right. Doing, doing all the beautiful things in your house by shooting out a shot. And we can't wait, man. God. You know, we can't wait for that. Man. God. You know? Well, that's why I said the key thing. The most I made it this way, man. Right. He made these men do what they were supposed to do because that was the role he set for them in his movie. Right. All right. All right. All right. God. Uh, credit the, 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 the teaching and the speaking was, was edifying, man. Nope. We'll give all, all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Shep, Yahweh Shah, by Shep, Rekha Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace sanitation to Akim doing, doing his work in true sincerity in the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the book. Shalom. Shalom. Death to the wicked.